Juliana Nash and her older sister, nine-year-old Olivia, are a true dynamic duo. These two baton twirlers have won a combined 15 national titles. But Juliana, she picked up the sport at three years old, though she really wanted to start sooner. Keep on going. My mom used to be a teacher, and then she started a club. Then my sister started doing it when she was three as well. And then I wanted to do it when I was two, but my mom thought I couldn't do it when I was two. So then we waited for a little, and then I was three, and then I could do it already. I decided to try it when I was three years old, and I started twirling, and it became fun for me. So I, I've been twirling ever since. And at a very young age, this dynamic duo took to twirling like future national champions, which they are. Juliana loves to do all kinds of tricks, while Olivia, she loves to feed off of the crowd. You can do all kinds of fun things, like throw the baton in the air, do all kinds of weird things under it, cool things, gymnastics, ballet, whatever, and then catch it, and the crowd goes wild for you. It just, it's just fun to see what people like and what people don't like. At the National Baton Twirling Championships, Juliana and Olivia won individual national titles. Then they teamed up and won the pairs national title for a second year in a row. When we won pairs, we, um, it was really fun because we're like best friends and it's fun to win as your best friends. So it's really fun for us. Now with their father being a multiple time world champion in baton twirling, it's only fitting that his daughters would follow in his footsteps. Their dad is an eight-time world champion baton twirler, and I used to twirl baton in the Netherlands when I used to live in the Netherlands, and then uh, we met, we got married, so, and we got them, and we were around baton all the time. Now, their dad is also the executive director of sport for the United States Twirling Association, and despite his daughter's twirling success, he's proud more of how his girls are growing up. I'm most proud that the girls are growing up with a, a sense of self-confidence and a love for what they do and also embracing other kids uh, for the successes in what they do. They recognize what it takes to be a success, whether it's a sporting activity, school or other things. And Juliana has some very good advice for anyone who is thinking about taking up the sport of baton twirling. I'll tell them that all you have to do is practice and it doesn't matter if you win or not. The most important part is you, you having fun. Nice. And in baton twirling, a family that twirls together have plenty of fun together. They have so much fun practicing together and they giggle a lot. So sometimes nothing comes from that, but um, we also want them to be a child and they, they need to have fun in the sport that uh, we, uh, we are doing all as a family. And besides having fun, these two sisters are learning some of life's lessons as well. It has taught me to be a better person because if somebody else wins, you have to be able to be okay with it and tell them it's good, they did a great job and then you just have to work harder the next time. So it's helped me to be a better person.